To me, this rare JC Cafe A340-600 has a minor but fatal flaw. It will be very obvious when it's put side by side with JC's Cafe A330. I'll rate this JC Cafe 346 in 10 categories. This special limited edition has given up JC's notorious generic orange box design. You can tell it tries to make it look like a CX product. The model is well protected by the foam. I'll give an 8. This 346 comes with magnetic gear and a display stand. The plane looks very handsome in flight mode on a stand. The gear door covers are quite well made, but the center one would sit in too far. The gaps at the nose door cover are wider than expected, yet it still looks good. I'll give an 8. This JC mode is very good. You simply can't find any obvious flaws in it. The shape of the wings and winglets are much better than those of other brands A330s and A340 models. And look, it has made a correct 346 unique tail. You'll see it when we put it side by side with an A330. In fact, the 346 tail has a tiny curve at the bottom of the rudder. It's a safety feature to avoid the rudder crashing with the elevators in an extreme maneuver position. The mode gets it right. I'll give a 9. These two pairs of Train 500 are very realistic. The fan blades are in good shape and in a crushed scale. The flat curve at the bottom is in the correct shape. I'll give a 9. The wings and the horizontal stabilizers are very well attached. The four engines are well aligned and have very good ground clearance. The seam between the vertical stabilizer and the fuselage is almost invisible. I'll say it deserves a 9 for build. It's easy to put on the gears. The gear legs and joints are indeed well made. This batch has purposely colored the gear legs in silver. The main gears can tilt. I'll give a 9. The aerials, navigation lights, SATCOM, and APU exhaust are all very well made. But the landing lights on the wings are only printed. So are the no scale legs. I will only give an 8. Now, let's talk about the minor but fatal flaw. The livery reproduction here looks gorgeous, but to the real CX fans, this mistake is pretty obvious, and you will see it easily with a reference to the A330. You see, the green band is too thick. It's way too close to the cockpit windows. In a real CX plane, the upper edge of the green band is in fact lower than the top of the nose cone. Because of this irritating mistake, I can only give an 8. Cafe's unique bluish-gray color has been a challenge to all manufacturers. Most of the existing Cafe models are either too blue or too gray. Let's use Aviation Path's real Cafe aircraft skin as our color reference here. Well, JC's bluish gray is pretty close to the real thing. The dark green is not exactly correct, but I'm good with it. 
one problem is the carpet windows are printed too low here. The coloring of the bluish gray and white door flames are a bit off too. The gradient defect of the red line here are less satisfying than that of the A330. I'll give an 8 for painting. There is only one CX346 model made by Phoenix before this JC2022 release. Yet the Phoenix one has obvious color discrepancy, oversized carpet windows, and only comes with fixed landing gear. It can't compare to this JC. This JC first release has only 300 pieces. Very few collectors managed to pre-order it successfully, so that JC had to make new releases just a few months after the first release. The demand has always been high. I'll give a 9. I'll give this JC Cafe 346 a total of 85 points in my Eric Index. Can you accept the luxury flaw on this model? Leave a comment to let us know. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel. See you next time.